And I think this is already gonna be the start, not really of something new, but of some type of scheme. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Kristen, and today we are talking about High School Musical, the musical, the series, episode two. In this episode, we're getting to the first script read-through of the musical. Consider subscribing if you like my videos, and drop it in the comments, and let me know your thoughts on High School Musical, the musical, the series. So I actually thought that this episode felt really short. I was like waiting for there to be a little bit more going on. Although I will say that there were some deeper character development moments, I would say. Like with Ricky, for instance, I think he's realized that the best way to try to get Nini back as his girlfriend is to just not give up. You know, I think he's a person that maybe in the past has been a quitter and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna stick with this musical. I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna put an effort and show Nini that I am really serious. And I think that we sort of see a little bit of a hint that she's noticing that. We also get to see EJ's jealous side. I think he's really struggling a lot with kind of feeling insecure, you know, doing things that he probably shouldn't, like taking Nini's phone to look through it and see what she's up to. And I think that really shows a huge trust issue there. And I think this is already gonna be the start, not really of something new, but of some type of scheme between EJ and Gina. They're both clearly interested in sabotaging Nini and Ricky to get the roles that they want. And I think that that's gonna cause problems with EJ and Nini's relationship for sure. And uh, I gotta say, I think I'm still Team Ricky on this one. To see him really putting effort into the musical and into showing Nini that he's serious is um, a big step for him. We also get a great musical number between Nini and Ashlyn, who is EJ's cousin and is playing Miss Darbus. Man, they both got really great vocals going on there. And I don't know, does it sound live to you guys? It feels like they're actually singing there. It was a really beautiful song. Like, I think that's one that I'm gonna try to learn. Ashlyn's character was supposed to have written that song, and I've noticed that regardless of who they're playing in the musical itself, they all seem to sort of have characteristics of some high school musical characters in general. So as a composer, I wonder if Ashlyn is supposed to be kind of the equivalent of Kelsey. And then of course, we had some really great references to the original high school musical. They showed some footage of Ricky trying to learn the dance. The drama teacher, Miss Jen, finds real merch from the high school musical movie. Gabriella's cell phone, AKA the cell phone Vanessa Hudgens used in the movie. So that was really cool to see that like iconic memorabilia. And it does really look like each episode is kind of gonna meld into each other. So this one ends with Nini realizing her phone was taken and we know that EJ and Gina are the ones kind of behind that. So what is that gonna mean for the next episode? Is she going to kind of realize that EJ is up to something? Is he gonna be able to cover it up? I think this is gonna be one of those situations where Nini had nothing to hide and EJ is going to to just kind of ruin his relationship with her and push her into the arms of Ricky by not trusting her. And I gotta say, I am getting a bit more Glee vibes in this episode. There was a voiceover narration in the beginning over this music that sounded exactly how Glee used to start their episodes. Let me know if you guys want me to continue doing High School Musical, the musical, the series reviews each week. Otherwise, I can also do a big review at the very end. I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, you can check out more of my reviews right over here. And I will catch you in my next video. See ya.